Okay, y'all, I know I'm starting off this seed update or plant update a little differently, but I'm going to show you. Let's see. One, two. Does anybody notice anything different? Welcome, everybody, to our plant show of the week, where we show you what we have learned, how the plants are doing, and just overall everything on plants. Hope you all enjoy. We'll see you in the end. Have a great one, everybody. Okay, everybody, uh, the wood has come in for the lights. Same with my clips. So we're gonna get these lights all put up here today and uh, we'll see in a week how they are doing. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna have to make eight of these. We're gonna put four on each side and then we'll have to make four smaller ones, half the size. We'll get to those in a minute. So let's get this first one all built. First thing I'm gonna do is make um, a hole one inch in from the end and then we'll just cent center it right about there. So then for the reason for that, we'll be to run this wire. So we'll have to get a drill bit the same size. Actually, no, I like that one. We'll go with that one. Okay, and we'll just drill this hole. Doesn't have to be perfect. But. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then don't need these. Let's pull out these lights. We're gonna do a little bit of work to them at first. begin with, I want to take this end off. So let's see what we got in here. How difficult will it be to get this end off? Okay. Okay, there we are. Okay. Now we forgot to heat up the soldering iron, so we'll be right back. Okay, so let's disconnect these wires. This should be hot enough now. Let's come in and heat this right up. There's one, and there's two. Wow, that worked out way better than planned. Okay, so... Now what we're going to have to do is figure out how much we need. So, if you notice, there's a cut line every so often, so we have to figure out where we're going to cut. So the camera person here is going to help me out by holding that. So we want it right near our hole. So it looks like we're going to go with that one right there. Hey, I got this. If you want to grab me the scissors I put away while the camera was off. <laughs> so now we're going to cut right across there. Okay. Put this aside for now. Okay, so now we got our strip. But before we put it on here, we're going to solder on a piece of wire. So let's bring this back around. Held up in there. We'll figure out how much wire we need in a sec, but first we're going to get this soldered on. It's a little more wire than I wanted, so I'm just going to trim it a little. 
just a hair. Okay. So make sure we get the red on the positive side. Move this a lot closer. This is really flexible ones. It's definitely not my best soldering, but there we go. So then, we don't need very much wire because of the way I'm going to do it. So, let's figure out how much we need. Let's go with that. That much. Okay. And now we can put this through here. Let's see if we can get these to stick down. over try to keep it as straight as possible but not a big deal if it's not Okay, there we go. That's one done. Seven more to go. Okay, here we are. As you can see, here's the wires connected. Each light is connected up this way. I ran one line down, and then these clips join it together. So let's see if we can get down in here and show you. So you can see the wires just go through. Oh, that one's a little sensitive. I, I might have to check it. So there they are, there's down the one side. There's where it hooks up on the back. And then down the other side here, we got all the clips holding the lights together or wiring the lights together. There we are guys. The lights are all installed now. And see, I even added a couple extra up here. So now let's go ahead and turn these on. Boom. Look at that. Nice and bright. Lots of light under there now. So if you look, it's hard to see, but there's four strips of white there. There's three in the middle. There's supposed to be a fourth one back there. I'm having trouble getting it working, so I'll work on that later. And then four more white ones over there. So that's a lot brighter, not so dark. So well, let's see how that does. We should see an improvement. We think we already do. Gave him some good water, so we'll see in a week. Okay, so now that you have seen um, all of that, let's get into it. Again, there is not much on the trees. They have not done anything new, so I'm not gonna even bother going down there and showing you. But if you notice, our lovely uh, bell pepper here has got some really nice flowers on it and is really, really, really thriving. And then that bell pepper is actually has started to thrive since we took the other ones out. For some reason, they're starting to thrive now since we took the sickly ones out. And then the chamomile, since we started with the white light, has 
really improved as well. Like the white light has helped them improve so much. It, I think that's what's been missing this entire time when we needed a little bit of white light. But there's the lavender. And I mean, look at that borage. I mean, look at that. Amazing. And the Ennis. Still as floppy as ever, but I'm starting to think that's just part of the whole plant itself. But look, everybody, look at my hydroponic stuff. You'll notice that last week they were leaned over and all that sort of stuff. This week they're starting to curve back up and correct themselves and gain more leaves there. And then you'll notice that the sweet basil is now up above the lip. So it's doing an amazing job too. We replaced the water this week so that it's fresh water. And it's and with the light and everything it's all thriving so i am so happy with that and then you come over here as well whoops you pass the pagoda and you see look at that look at that cilantro isn't that amazing look at that it's pushing out nicely it's growing now this one's struggling a little bit we've had a little bit of an issue getting it to stand upright but the rest of them are thriving back there it's amazing and then you go next door to the sweet basil. And look at that. Look at those springs. They're getting more leaves. They're bushing out. That one is looking amazing back there next to the mint. I'm just going to call it. I don't think there's anything going on with the, the, the summer savory. It's just I don't think I'm going to have any luck with it. So I'm just going to call it. And not going to bother trying growing that one. But look at that mint. Look at it. It's loving this white light. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? And then the cuisine or cuisine or however you say it, nothing happened. I have a feeling I really did screw it up somehow. So we're going to try it again another time. But for right now, we're going to give up on it. And then... Even the spinach, like look at the spinach, guys. It's got new growth in the middle. It's growing nicely. And then the kale. And I'll leave it to us. We split up all the kale and you can see several kale plants have popped in other places. But we're starting to get the, what do you call it, curly leaves. So the kale is looking great. And then here we are, lettuce mix. Again, lots have popped up, but they're starting to look like the lettuces they're supposed to. So it's awesome. They've been missing this white light, I think. So that's everything indoors right now. As you guys can see, they're loving the white light. So let's go show you what's going on outside with our peppers withstanding the frost. So as you guys can see, I'm outside. We got some nasty looking clouds over this way. Sun this way. Getting sun showers as we speak. Over here where the cows are, we got more um, nasty looking clouds. Everything is wet. And look at these guys. Look at them. They're still surviving. Like, look at that. The daisies back there. I think we're just going to have daisy greens at this point in time. I don't think we're actually going to get the actual flowers out of them. But look at the peppers. Look at the pepper flowers. Like, look at that, everybody. Isn't that amazing? Like, come on. They're, they're surviving. If anyone ever tells you that peppers can't survive a good beating? I got your proof right here. We've had hurricanes come through here. We've had frost like you wouldn't believe in August. And yet, they are still going. I wonder if my friends are right and if we will actually get some peppers. What do you all think? But before that all gets to me, I should probably head back inside. 
And the stars of today's show go to Alex, Bella, Tiffany, a.k.a. Mummy, and last but not least, Chris, a.k.a. Daddy. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in a week. Have a great one, everybody. See you next week.